today is Saturday, December 5th. My brother Rich and I are heading up to the boat to do our first winter project. We're going to remove the fuel tank. Concerned that there's probably uh, 47 years worth of junk in the bottom of it. If we uh, take it out, clean it all up, maybe add a fuel level meter, that things will be good. Not a bad day. It was supposed to be about 50 degrees, but right now it's only 38. It's a little cool still. quick walk around inspection seeing how things have handled the last few weeks we've had a 12-inch uh, snowfall since the last time I've been up here Some good winds Everything's looking pretty tight Still looking pretty ship shape. Looking forward there, it's all tight. No holes. No uh, mounds of snow. Just attach the uh, fuel dipstick to the end of the transfer pump hose so it doesn't curl up and we can make sure that it's at the bottom of the tank. And I'll hold the new uh, pump. So rotate it. The end of the season, we did not fill up the fuel tank just for this purpose, so we didn't have that much to pump out. But uh, we had too little fuel in the tank 
one of our last trips and we sucked air into the engine because of the healing that we were doing. So we ended up adding a ended up adding a couple uh, gallons. Well, time to get inside the uh, locker here. We've got three connections that we need to take off the top. We've got the main fuel out. And we've got a vent. And then we've got the uh, fuel fill line there. So we'll just connect those. And then we got two wing nuts that attach the threaded rods that go to the galley. And those are the only two things holding this in place as far as I can tell. So we'll see how this process goes. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the hose clamps there. Kind of disconnect the vent line there. And the hose clamp there. Alright, so we uh, disconnected all the hoses, the output, the input, and the vent line, and then we just removed the threaded rods that were holding it in place. Now we're going to see if we can rotate it 90 degrees and pull it out. No problem. No Alright. I'm going to try and rotate this sucker off. Come on. Yeah, this was the uh, vent line, the output, and the input. It had the threaded rods going on each side, rotated it, and pulled it straight out. That went pretty straightforward. Yes. So now the question is, how are these pieces of wood that mounted? Actually, that one. Pretty solid? Yeah, this one's a little bit loose. So this one feels like it's a little loose. So I don't know if the wood wood feels tight, but maybe it's just the uh, fiberglassing of it into the hall there that we might need to reinforce. This one looks good. That one's fairly smooth. I'm happy. Cool. Well, we got the tank out. Very little inside, no residue to speak of. I think it's probably the original tank from 1967, the way it was fit in there. Did not look like an aftermarket thing. So we're going to go ahead and pressure wash the inside and sandblast or I should say bead blast the outside and when we're all done next season it'll be like brand new. Maybe add a uh, fuel level sensor as well. Well next step in this process is we brought the uh, tank to a uh, do-it-yourself car wash. We're going to go ahead and run some uh, engine degreaser inside it, clean it off, Step one of the uh, fuel tank renovation. The inside. Can you push it around?
pretty clean. I got the tank home. Go ahead and loosen the uh, fitting for the dip tube. Go ahead and pull that out. See how deep that is. That's a pretty good size. Let's see if it's in there. An inch off the bottom. And pull the vent fitting on. I went ahead and put a light inside the tank and I see that it's baffled. In the upper part of the screen there is the center of the tank. So it looks like there's a uh, baffle between the two halves. Bottom doesn't look too awful bad. Now that we cleaned it out. And this is the other half. This is where the uh, dip tube goes down. And you can see that the uh, it's a little bit more crud on the bottom there. But we were not able to put the uh, spray head down this side because we hadn't taken out the dip tube yet. So maybe that's something we need to do. This is looking down the hole that the vent fitting goes in. You can see the baffle to the left. 